Never back down. Never give up. Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. So Discord have recently released soundboards. Well, actually not technically full release. It's actually in experimental mode at the moment. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload voice reactions and how to upload sounds into your Discord server. Yes, that's right. Playing sounds through your Discord server. It's pretty fun. You may have heard a few people doing this, but the previous way of doing this was quite complicated using voice mod or some other third party piece of software. Well, I'm going to show you in this video how you can upload a sound to your Discord server natively within Discord, because this is a feature that's coming very, very soon. I already have access to it. I don't particularly know why. Without further ado, hit the like button, feel free to subscribe to the channel and let's go. So what exactly are Discord soundboards? It means that you can store files against your Discord server, audio files that you can then play when you're chatting with your friends in Discord. Very, very simple concept. It's not particularly a new concept, but the fact that Discord are integrating sounds directly into the Discord server is really, really a cool thing. Now, as I did mention earlier, this is currently an experimental feature and only available to a limited number of features. So if you're in the comments moaning about this not being on your server, don't blame me. It's Discord's fault. I don't know why you don't have access to that, okay? The other thing to note here, and I know I will get questions about this because I always do on these videos, Soundboard is only available to play on the desktop app. Mobile app users will be able to hear the sounds through the soundboard, but you will not be able to play the sounds themselves. So what is Discord soundboard? Well, basically, it's a voice channel feature that allows you to play a short audio clip that can be heard by all participants in the same voice channel chat. I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to show you how to upload your own and you even get some default sounds from Discord, which are pretty cool as well. Some other notes that we need to first know. First of all, the servers will automatically have eight preloaded sound slots for server members. So you can customize eight sounds in your own Discord server immediately. Another thing to note here, this is for Discord servers, it's not for your Discord profile. So if you've just got a Discord profile, but you do not have a Discord server, I don't think you can add audio to your profile. Maybe that will be something that Discord adds at some point down the line. If you are tier one, two, and three boosted, then you get 24, 35, and 48 custom audio slots. But you also, on top of this, get eight standard sounds that Discord have already uploaded as standard for everyone, or at least the people that have access to this feature. Quick point here as well before we get into this, as a server admin, how can you manage this on your server? Well, actually, you can have use soundboard removed from your voice channels. So if you're one of these people that just wants a peaceful life, you don't want people doing dumb, stupid sounds and annoying you in your voice chat, just turn them off in that particular channel. Or even better still, have one where you have the soundboard on and have another voice channel where you have the soundboard turned off. Final note on permissions here is that Discord say here, we are currently experimenting with permissions. That is the most boring sentence I've ever read. So the changes to permissions there are not yet live to everyone. So if you don't have the permissions for this yet, again, don't bother me in the comments. It's just Discord messing with you, okay? So where do we actually manage this within your Discord server? Well, click onto your Discord server in the top left-hand corner and go into server settings to access Discord soundboard. It's currently the fifth menu down. But what Discord like to do is move all these options around so that my viewers then pester me in the comments and say, it's not there. It's not it normally is there. It's just further down. Okay. This at the moment is the fifth one down. Click into it. Very simple. Here we go. We can upload a new Discord sound. Now it's just as simple as uploading an MP3 file to your Discord server. Really, really simple. Now I notice on this menu here to upload the MP3 file that has no file restrictions, which is this thing that Discord like to do, have restrictions, but not tell you all the details about it. Well, on this page here, we can see on this menu here in their descriptions, it actually has some restrictions that they show you. So it's saying it can be up to, up to five seconds long 512 kilobytes and it has to be an mp3 now the fact that they've removed this from the menu here means that that might now not be applicable and i'm going to be testing that because the clip that i'm uploading now is the most annoying clip ever amazing never back down 
never give up. For the meme, the dream, the stream, and the A team. Quick tip here, myinstance.com has absolutely loads of free sounds that you can just download. You just find a sound that you want and click download mp3 so i'm going to upload this sound now i'm going to choose the file browse to it on my uh downloads here click open we now have a preview of it and it tells us that it's 17 seconds long just to check that it's working properly we can click play on this we can now give this a name so i'm just going to call this never back down you can also give the sound a related emote and it just means whenever you use a particular emote there'll be a pop-up i think that says do you also want to play the sound too i think but also when you're playing this with inside the discord server voice channels that emoji will pop up on the screen as well in the call I'll show you what I mean in a second, but for now, we're just going to select a different emoji. And of course, you can use your custom emojis as well here. Finally, we can dictate the volume of this. Now, this is quite a loud clip, so I'm just going to turn it down by 80% here, and I'm going to click Upload. As predicted, this is too long in terms of the size. Apparently, you get an extra 0.2 seconds here. But what you can do instead is just trim it with these tools here. So I'm going to bring this right down to there. It will go green to indicate that this is now a small enough file. And I'm going to try re-uploading by clicking this. It's a really nice user experience that they've got here. And within seconds now, that is available. So let's now test the discord sounds in a discord server i'm going to jump into an empty channel here if you've got this tool and this function on your voice channels in your discord server you will have this icon in the bottom left hand corner here it's like a little book with a musical note on it pretty self-explanatory but it also shows you on your server what sounds are currently available from here you can actually add more sounds as well so this is a secondary way you can add the sounds to your server and here are the discord sounds actually there's only six of them not eight i'll just quickly run through these so that you know what they are as you can see the icon pops up as i mentioned earlier i don't even know if they're playing can't hear them So it's just the obvious sounds that you would probably want to wind your friends up with. Another cool feature here is that you can actually star them as well to favorite a particular sound, and they will now appear only at the top of this list. So if there's a number of sounds that you're frequently using, you just favorite them and they'll be sticky here. But you can also search for one as well. Never back down. There you go. And it only needs you to get part of the word in here. You don't need to fully type it. All that's left to do now is test the new sound that we uploaded by clicking on the play button. Amazing. Never back down. Seems a little bit quieter. Finally, just to show some of the permission stuff that you can do as well, I can now go on to edit channel here into permissions and I can now say look for every verified server member I want them to be able to use the soundboard so I'm going to click yes to that and save changes now bear in mind I've just set the permissions in this specific channel you may want different channels with different levels of permissions for different roles and all that good stuff that you get with discord adding a sound to your discord server is just a really cool easy, nice, fun thing to do. And it's great that you can customize them as well. If you did find that video useful, you'll definitely find this one useful as well because I show you all about the new Stream Deck Discord plugin. If you've got a Stream Deck, you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.